Hello everyone, hope you're psyched. It's some news from Atlas 2. Hello everyone, it's the big Sunday. Sunday, hey look, I made a video that's actually going to come out on the day I recorded it, Voices in the Future. Yeah, that's a new one for me. Not really, but pretty well. Hello, today exciting news was released. Personas! Tons of personas everywhere! Aren't you excited, Kanji? You're excited, right? Yes! Yes, we got lots of persona news! First, let's talk about a game we already knew was being made. A, a remake slash sequel. It's now actually being considered a sequel now. Because originally it was seeming like it was just being an updated version. Now it, it's been confirmed it has its whole own story that takes place shortly after Persona 4 Arena. So it's a completely new game with several adjustments. It introduced in several characters in a trailer. It seems like everyone's going to have shadow forms of themselves playable. Oh my goodness. Plus we already knew some new characters and there's going to be more new characters. Because it appears that Adachi is some reason in the game. Some of the characters that are appear in the cutscene, so maybe Adachi has something to do with it. He has a detective. But anyway. <clears throat> so there's a lot of new characters. And in his exciting bit, it's going to be on the PS3 so we can actually get it! As opposed to being an arcade exclusive as it was originally going to be. So yay! So new story, new characters, new who knows what the fuck's going on. Maybe we'll find out who the hell the weird villain of Persona 4 was. Uh, Persona 4 Arena, not Persona 4 4, but you, you, you know what I mean. But anyway, uh, maybe we can find out who the mysterious voice was. Anywho, continuing on, that was exciting news. New games! Three completely new Persona games. First, Persona 5! Okay, sorry if I blew your ears out there. <laughs> so, Persona 5 is going to come out in the winter of 2014 in Japan for the PS3. Yeah, Atlas said, screw you, next gen! <laughs> so, don't know what to say there. They're probably going to make it digitally available for next gen in actual disc available for the PS3 along with digital is probably what to do because the PS4 is supposed to have digital capabilities for all of its consoles before it or something like that but anyway that is of course going to get tons of people excited Persona 5 is announced for the PS3 and we gotta remember Kathleen was supposed to be a a, uh, a test in a whole new engine for Persona for Persona 5 when they were making Catherine. So that makes me wonder if it's going to use a lot of the artistic style that they did with Catherine or if they're just going with something new. We don't really have a lot of stuff on it. Just that's going to come. So hopefully uh, they have a decent amount made, hopefully. So next news. A 3DS dungeon crawl of an uh, Odyssey style, apparently. It will star the cast of Persona 3 and 4, two new characters, and the new character that's in Persona 4 Golden. That's a lot of freaking characters. And it's apparently going to be a dungeon crawl similar to Etna Odyssey, along with everyone using their personas and shit. So this will be interesting. It has very cutesy art style. The the trailer for it has a lot. And I'll have links to, like, the page and stuff that has a lot of that shit down below, you know, so you can check it out and be like, Whoa! So anyway. <clears throat> then lastly, is probably something that's going to be very mixed feeling. A music game and it was hilarious because <laughs> it had i mean i understand we say being in it but it has the main character of persona 4 and it was like oh, oh, oh. it's like <laughs> he he just looks so funny it's like it's like watching duke nukem or something like too serious doing something they shouldn't be doing or something you know it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like you should see Teddy doing it or something. It, it's like 
And I like the little disco ball teddy icon for it. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I'm so tempted to get that, throw it in, uh, cut it out, and like just paste it somewhere. I'm just so tempted. It's so hilarious. It's so cute. <laughs> Somebody make a little, like, call on me of that. That's awesome. Disco Teddy on! <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry if I scared anyone. But this is all exciting news. Four complete, well, two, three completely new, and one with tons of new information about it. All coming to consoles near us, hopefully. I'd say all of them except for the dance game have strong chances of coming to America. The dance game... This game actually might have a good chance. Apparently, the it's the same people who made um. Damn, I don't have it in here. It's in the album. Uh, the um, the Vocaloid games uh, that have been published by Sega. Uh, apparently, the company that's making those is making this, and Sega is the new owner of Atlas. And Sega announced the Vita. Uh, Diva games coming to America, so apparently the th uh, the PS3 game did well, so there might actually be good odds of it coming over. Who who knows? We'll, we'll have to find out. But, uh, of course, this does have to rely a little on Sega's brain thought. We still don't know what Sega is doing. Uh, Sega supposedly should have full control of uh, Alice by now. Uh, they said at Comic-Con that the deal wasn't going straight down until in November. So, uh, being near the end of November, I would assume that it should be done, if not almost done, with that. So, we still have to see what the hell Sega is going to be doing with its American branches of Atlas and Atlas products. But again, if they're smart, they'll just keep letting them do what they do. So, and Atlas has usually given us all their own games almost all the time. So, if that's the case, they'll, they'll, we're definitely getting Persona 5. Sega would be fucking retarded not to give us Persona 5. It's just everything else that's wishy-washy, depending on them. So... If they all come over, then I'll be way to say that Sega might actually have some brain in their freaking skull still. But either way, it's exciting news. I hope you all get to hear all this news. Go check out the trailers and everything and get down with Disco Teddy. Yes, I'm ending it this way. Disco Teddy. What? You don't like Disco Teddy? It, it's a cute little... Disco ball with a chippiness in that. Oh.